young man, Steve Moxon. It is main event time. The super heavyweights, Grace Center Ring. Nate Tu La Uli, 27 fights, 24 wins, 14 knockouts. But as impressive as that is, he is the underdog tonight because he faces the sting, Paul Swarwinski. Well, with Nato Nato, Paul Swarwinski tonight. Of course, last time we saw you take on Big Steve McKinnon in Canberra. What an epic battle that was. But tonight, against the Big Sting, it's going to be a tough task. Oh, you definitely will be. Um, but hey, you know, we're not all in this business to have easy fights. So, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm picking it's going to be a good hard fight, and that's what I'm here for. Well, of course, Paul Slowinski is, is really top of the tree in the Oceania region. This is everything to gain and not a lot to lose for you. So as long as you go in and put on a good showing, it's really going to send the result around the world for yourself and, and potentially launch you into, into bigger and better things. Well, yeah, I'm hoping that's the plan. Um, the only way you can gauge yourself as a fighter is if you fight the best. You know, you start from myself, I start from the top and I work my way down. And obviously Paul is the top, so, you know, I'm just going to test to see how, uh, how good I can be and, yeah, we'll go from there. Well, of course, there's been no shortage of Kiwi challenges against the Sting. Of course, recently Ants on the Nisa Fury card had a bit of a war there. But um, and you yourself have been the eight man in Auckland. I think Ants was in that as well. So was it? Uh, there's been a lot of challenges come up against the Sting. Is that is he really the benchmark for you Kiwi boys? Uh, for me personally, I, I don't know about the other boys, but yeah, it is. Um, he's been there um, to the top, he's fought in the K1 and he's still fighting and so it's guys like that that, that set that precedence to, for, for us guys in Oceania to say hey you know we can you know, bang with the best of the world. Yeah definitely. Of course uh, you've had a busy year, probably the busiest of your career. Yeah it definitely has been, um, fighting Steve, fighting in an 8 man and now fighting Paul so yeah it is a, a, a big year for me so I'm hoping to get even you know, busier next year yeah. so yeah, like you said, any, any result that comes out of today is always going to be a good one for me. Well, well, let's talk strategy for a moment. Of course, this thing, it's no secret, he's probably the biggest leg kicker in the business. Probably going to be a little harder against you because you're the southpaw, of course, so he's maybe going to be targeting your inside thigh. Is that is that a strategy you've been working on? Have you studied footage? Have you got a game plan happening here? Um, we have got a game plan, and that's just to, to hit and move, hit and move, and just, just play and just fight my fight um, and not, not focus so much on, on how to beat him. But for me, like you said, you know, any result is a good result. Yeah. And just to fight my fight and, and, and show Australia and show you guys what I can do and not how I can fight, you know, against just, you know, just the specific fighters. Yeah. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best and we'll see you in Centering soon. Thank you. And he's the first fighting out of the red corner. One of the biggest names and undeniably the biggest frame in Australian kickboxing. The Sting, Paul Slowinski. 123 fights. Over 100 wins, and 61 of his opponents have fallen asleep. Centre ring. Well, with the sting as always, stepping up to the big cards. And Paul, it seems like every New Zealander wants to fight you. Of course, coming off a big win over Ants. But tonight, Nato stepped up, a very cagey left-handed fighter who, who had a good battle with McKinnon. What's your strategy going to be? Um, uh, yeah, he's a young, strong, up-and-coming fighter, and um, he's playing by New Zealand. I like fighting Kiwis, they always come to fight. And um, yeah, he's a southpaw, only in one of his fights against uh, Steve McKinnon. He comes forward to where he likes to fight. Um, yeah, he's a southpaw, which um, I don't really like fighting southpaws, but... Who um, does? But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I train well. I'm, I'm here to fight and um, yeah, see what happens. Well, this fight, of course, for him, is everything to gain and not a lot to lose. He knows no matter what happens with this fight, if he makes a good impression against you, it's going to elevate him in the, in the industry. How, do you, how are you going to take it? You really have to take care of business and quickly against him. Yeah, um, I've got one set of mind for every fight. I just come in and um, go all out and 
you know, we try to finish as soon as I can, and um, if it goes to distance, it goes to distance, but um, I'm here to fight, so yeah, see what happens. And it's been a short turnaround as well from your last fight, no injuries, everything, the prep for this one been no problem at all? No, yeah, I pulled out good uh, from, uh, yeah. from my last fight against Ants, and um, yeah, all good, no injuries, and um, yeah, see what happens tonight. Last thing we look forward to seeing you in Centre Ring. Melbourne's like a second home for you now. Yeah, I like coming here. I've, I've been here plenty of times fighting and um, I have good memories from each fight I did have here. So, um, yeah, I enjoy coming to Melbourne. Well, all the best in that fight tonight, Steve. Thank you,